Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you the power of Kane here in preseason 13. I think he's in an insane spot because of green jungle smite giving you tenacity and a shield. It makes it to where you don't have to go for Merc Treads even if you need tenacity. You can get away with going in just your runes and off of your jungle item, which is awesome because Lucids are still incredibly powerful. For Kane, putting his abilities on a lower cooldown when his Q's his main source of damage is really, really good in the same way that it is for a Hecarim. Up against a Shaco, he's likely to invade us early on or gank. Typically, Shaco will three camp off a red side, gank, or invade. We should be able to solo him with that being said, as long as he doesn't get the drop on us. We'll go ahead and hop this wall. We already have vision of that brush. We kind of know what's going on, where people are at. We'll go ahead and hop it right here. I doubt he would start on his blue buff. Shakos don't do that. And if he did, all of his boxes would already be laid. So we're chilling. Kane can start on any camp solo in the game. The best camp to start on solo is generally Raptors. You can rip through it. It's really, 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 really fast. Just one or two cubes in the whole camp is completely dead. It is fine to solo start on a buff. It is completely doable. Go ahead and get our E for the heal. Smite doesn't heal you anymore. Instead, you get a tiny heal every single time you kill any camp. And Gromp no longer Giga heals you either. It's just a tiny little heal, just like the other camps. Go ahead and lay our ward now. Kite this over to our Gromp. Your little guy only attacks twice after you're done attacking. Keep that in mind. It's not quite as good as the old jungle burn. It is AoE true damage though, so it's helpful for many junglers for taking out camps like Raptors. I haven't seen Shaco yet on the crossover, which means he either invaded us or he's trying to set up a gank right about now. We should be able to finish this camp as he's finishing and crossing over. So even if he did invade us, it's fine. Trading CS as Kane is perfectly okay. I don't want to invade top. He's playing far back. And uh, gank ganking Cassante, he's got a lot of HP as well. So Shaco just showed on the map. I wasn't really paying attention to where he was. I assume it was on my ward because we've seen him and he has 11 CS. So we probably skipped a Krug or something, a little one. We just need to hurry up and take this. We'll go to our own Krugs now, go for Raptors. So yeah, it looks like he probably didn't invade us. He's going to miss out on a lot due to that. We want to pull this away from the wall so he doesn't just hop over and get an easy pinch on us. Kane's mostly just farming a lot early on. You can gank once you're level three, but oftentimes it's just not worth it. Other junglers can way out gank you. You'll end up either getting yourself killed or losing a lot of CS off of it. So if you have to go out of the way to gank before you're level four, I wouldn't really recommend it. Just be patient. Patience is heavily rewarded on champions like Kane Fiddlesticks. Q max and a W then E. We're going to have to go red cane. We don't have a front line on our team. We could go blue cane and just build red cane items. That's extremely popular. On red cane, I've been experimenting with black cleaver rush since it's cheaper than gore drinker. And it actually does more damage. If you check the stats after three or four ganks on black cleaver or three or four fights to the death, way more damage than gore drinker can output. So, okay. He did take two of our camps, but we got three of his. So that's still a really good trade. I'm happy with that. He's the stronger early game champion anyways. Since he gets to uh, dash around, get behind people and whatnot. He lands the hook. I'll ignite him. We bop him with the Q, down he goes. I have no clue how Brand's level 1. I don't know if he DC'd or if he just got killed or what happened there, but... Yeah, Kane ganks, they're okay. As long as you can come up behind your opponents and they don't have mobility, generally will pan out. Very similar to a Shivana pre-6 gank. You just have to come up behind them. So first item rush. Uh, I'm down to potentially rush Black Cleaver. I actually really like how much damage it does and how much armor it shreds, especially if they have a tank like uh, Cassante or an Orin Ramus, that type of thing. The cool thing about Black Cleaver is... A lot of the same items I build into Gore Drink, build in the Cleaver. And the Black Cleaver is 200 gold cheaper, so... Especially if you're playing Red Can, you get a bunch of Omni Vamp for free on your passive to where you don't really need the Gore Drink early. You, you more so need Gore Drink once you're team fighting. So when you're getting multi-focused, you won't die. Oh, she's so dead. 
She doesn't know it though. We'll hit her with the W because she doesn't see us. Auto attack Q. She's actually, wow. She's not gonna get away, but she made a really good attempt. I'm surprised she still had her flash. Kind of interesting. Shaco's top side will go invade his bot side jungle. He is low on health. I doubt he's going to invade us unless he knows exactly where we are off that. Easily go over any wall with your uh, E. And you can go over most walls with your Q as well. Any thin or small wall. Cool. His Krugs are up. Auto attack W. Botlin looks semi gankable. He's pretty close to his turret and Ezreal does have a baked in dash into his kit. They don't have many, many melee champions for me to build red essence off of. My pike's missing, so this is not a gank. This is just a 2v2. And with how close they are to their turret, with how healthy they are, it doesn't make sense. So instead, perhaps we'll go mid here. Talon's getting mulched by this Vex. She's solo killing him. She still has flash when she's done killing him, which is not good. <laughs> it's a bad sign. <laughs> I already know Shaco's over here. Eh, I guess I'll just loop back around for his red. It's actually kind of interesting that he's in my jungle right now. Puts me in a bit of a spot for sure because Vex has Pryo and I don't trust this Talon, but I do kind of want some red essence off of Shaco here. I doubt he's already crossed over. I'm pretty sure he was low health. Could potentially go mid. Really, like I said, I really don't trust the talent. She gets the solo kill and is practically full HP as well. Not trying to leave the bush there. That was a mistake. Was trying to cancel the Q animation into the wall, but we barely went over it. She still looks extremely healthy. I'm assuming she still has R ignite as well. I doubt she's having to burn any sums to kill this talent. My expectations are very low. We're going for Brand. He's low level. He doesn't have a dash to really escape. We'll have to R out. And as long as my teammates don't just watch me die and they actually try to block or something, then we'll live. Very cool. Talon decides, you know what? I'm tired of dying solo in lane without getting Vex Flash. Instead, I should start farming my uh, Kane's jungle while giving up minion XP. That is really, really strong move. Big Alpha Chad move. He gives up a fudge load of XP for a little bit of jungle XP. That's what you call crunching the numbers. Like that scene from The Simpsons where Homer buys all that bacon. He like boils it down, renders off the fat, and then sells the fat. He's like, oh, but it's, it's my wife's money. See, they don't realize just how much waste that created because all that minion xp and gold went to waste hey friend we're not going to toss out w until we have to we don't want her to dodge it juke it flash it there's no need to w early if you're still within range to auto attack if you're no longer in range to auto attack or if they're cc'd or if they don't know you're there then sure go ahead and w early i don't want to play blue cane this game we need red cane to handle the Cassante. Cassante is very very tanky Went for the cleaver first so we could get it. It does feel, it feels great. It, it really does. I like the way it feels. It makes you do more damage. It speeds you up and it's cheaper. Plus more ability haste, which I mean, that's exactly what you kind of want on Kane. So. All right, we can go top for Cassante here. We have the cleaver to stay on top of him. He's in a weird spot. I mean, he could just stay on that weird area we're gonna auto attack q him slow him with our blue smite he's about to dash auto attack w down he goes very nice we got a little bit of damage from the black cleaver and we also get the movement speed which is hard to quantify per stack of carve so we get 18 movement speed there it's quite a lot it's like a free pair of boots boot normal boots gives 20 movement speed 20 or 25 yeah 25 so it's almost free boots like i said you don't really need gore drinker until it's time to team fight anyways 
so it's mainly for the self heal and aspect that's why we'll be rushing it second if Gore Drinker and Black Cleaver were the same price, I would go Gore Drinker first. But since Black Cleaver is cheaper, we got it way sooner. We didn't have to back again. We can stay on the map, pressure the map with our early item purchase and whatnot. I'm going to smite her early. Dodge that out. Hit her with a Q. Auto attack W. Hit her with R so I don't get Shaco Box feared. I think my Ignite kills her, but I'm not 100%. All right, so she barely lives by like 10 health. That sucks. Uh, that's unfortunate. We're not going to be able to kill her. She's just baiting. We don't really need to kill her either. That situation still turned out pretty well, all things considered. With how fed she was and still having sums and R. And still getting solo kills in lane. <laughs> that, that's the thing in League. If you're in a matchup you don't understand, or if you're just outclassed by your opponent... The worst thing you can do is die. You just stay alive. Even if you're having to give up every single CS, it's worth it. Because if you die, you're going to lose the CS anyways. You're going to lose the XP on top of that. You don't have to last hit to get XP. You just have to be within a general distance. And if you're dying, a lot of times your teammates will assume that the enemies are missing sums or ultimates. And oftentimes your teammates will end up getting baited, so... Just got to realize, even if you're not going to last hit a single minion because you don't know what you're doing, just give up every single minion at that point. Get the XP. Sounds like terrible advice, but it's four times better than just constantly solo dying. In this case, it didn't matter too much because Vex died a lot and gave up her shutdown. Pretend she didn't give up her shutdown. She would be running the map right now. We, there'd be no counterplay for our team. We'll go kill him. I want to reset for form. All of our camps were up. We've had constant favorable situations. We'll come in behind him, hit him with blue smite. Need to get on top of this dude. Auto attack W. Auto attack Q. Auto attack Q. Pop him with the R. Shaco's going to come in behind us. I already know. Auto attack Q. Oh my god. I actually wasn't expecting that. He did that pretty well where he was invisible, but his R wasn't well played to him. Got a cheeky little kill on me. Really wasn't expecting that, especially on an 80 Shaco. I could have just survived. I could have chose not to engage my E was about to be up. I could have easily gotten away. I just greeted out for the kill. Rip. Against their team... I think Lucids are fine versus them. Even on Red Cane, since we have Green Jungle Smite, you usually want to pop your passive right when you're between the base turret and the Nexus. You can push your movement speed from the transformation farther across the map. It's kind of like a, a, a ghosted gank, if you will. Can push it really far. Vex is kind of coming towards my jungle a little bit here. We have no gank though, so I <laughs> just got us back on the map faster, I guess. We're gonna have to Q her early. Q into blue uh, smite into Q there. Auto attack Qs. Trying to Q past her. Oh, I couldn't quite reach her. I can't stay. Shaco's gonna gank me. Almost got the kill. Our R came up right as the gank was over, and we couldn't reach with Red Cane R. Blue Cane R has more range than Red Cane R. It's one of the downsides to Red Cane. You're not quite as uh, slippery. Red Cane can be slowed on as E as well, unlike Blue Cane. You don't usually need tier for Red Cane. You can always get a Frozen Heart if you really need it. Typically, mana isn't an issue, unless you're doing lots of fighting outside of the jungle and you're just not farming anymore. Because whenever you're in jungle, you're getting a lot of mana back. Corky's getting really fed. He has the most kills on our team by far. Spear of Shoujin is actually really, really good on Kane. It should be a recommended item, but it's not. Typically go that third item. Ridiculous amount of ability haste. I'll go for Dragon here. Shaco could be on it right now. We wouldn't even know, unfortunately. 
We have zero vision on it. The team's not really interested in it. I want to just shove mid first to try to force them out. Oh, he's on it. Oh, never mind. I'll break that plant before I start it. I don't want them flip flopping in. I would prefer to pull it out all the way first. That way Shaco can't steal it too easily. He'll have to full commit and die to it. Got it. Q smite combo. I don't see Shaco in there, so he didn't hop over. Their brand's bot side. I guess their brown's the counterweight to our Talon. Every team has a counterweight. Eight out of ten games. It's just about identifying it. We have a really deep flank on these guys. Hit them with an early smite. Auto attacks into Qs. Pop them with my R. The uh, Talon there kind of stole my HP. So when you're playing Red Cane and people kill your target you're inside of before you come out, it screws you over really hard. You end up missing out on a bunch of healing. It heals you for a fudge load of the damage dealt on your R. So why is somebody chasing me? What the hell? I don't know if Bran burned his flash there, but dude, he chased really far. I'm tempted to stay. It's just not worth it. He might have ignite and flash. I don't know. A player on our team is AFK, apparently. Supposedly Pike is. We win without him. We don't need him, though. Especially if we get Drag Soul. AD Shaco. Lethality AD Shaco falls off. Like a cinder block off of rooftop, dude. It doesn't scale at all. It really doesn't. Wait, is he actually? Wow. That is unbelievable. He actually just stole my thing. Did he just take my blue buff and he didn't even get the blue buff? Wow. I don't know if that's a feature or a bug, but wow. There's no reason to burn our take off our movement speed yet. Auto attack into the queue. If you already have their their route cut off, it's usually best to wait before you queue. Hey, Shaco. Got them both. That's the nice thing about Kane, man. You have so much AoE damage. Two Shakos doesn't really matter. We need to get some mana back. Hey, Brand. He's lined up on the wall. I don't have R, though, so I'll just pull this wave back a little bit. Yeah, nice try, buddy. That was very impressive. Ah, oh, I missed my W. That was a good juke on his part, actually. He's gonna die, though. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> We're out of mana. I need to get my mana back. Your Q Gore Drink combo is really, really strong on Kane. Especially Red Kane for what we're doing. We have our little jungle shield up. Auto attack back into the Q. Full stacked Conqueror. Don't know why everyone's trying to kill Kane. I wouldn't really recommend that. You see how useless AD Shaco is when you build him lethality? It's completely useless versus bruisers or tanks. He has two full items. Similar kills in CS, but in terms of gold spent, two full items just like us. He did nothing. We're two full items. And I was out of mana and like half health. That's what I'm saying. Like you don't play Shaco lethality, in my opinion, if the enemy team has a decent comp. You have to build him shredder, or you have to build him like bruiser tank. Lethality <laughs> Lethality is over nerfed in general on a lot of champs. Ever since they did the uh, durability changes. Q Gore Drink. Get him with our W. Auto attack Q. Into the R. We get the kill. I don't know why she thinks she can kill us. Q Gore Drink. Auto attack Q. And w. Down she goes. Our pipe came back. He was DC. It gave us the option to surrender. I don't think we need to though. I'm out of mana. Like completely out of mana too. Getting back 21 per second for being in the jungle. I'm telling you, man, the green jungle item's actually just the best. 
Some people, not going to name names, said the red one is. They're completely wrong. I've played over 100 games of jungle on the preseason 13. The best results I've seen have been junglers with a green smite. And for myself, trying a lot of red, blue, and green. Green is just far and above best. The tenacity is such a useful stat. And the shield itself easily compensates for the tiny bit of damage the red jungle item gives you. Q Gore drinked into him. I'll go ahead and shove this wave. I have blue buff now. I got it from somebody there. Didn't get my last one because of the talent. I wouldn't mind if he quit, honestly. I don't like people taking my camps for no reason. When there's a wave up to grab and they just decide, yeah, you know what? Even though my jungler's path in here, I'm going to take this. I don't have smite, which makes this kind of bad. I shouldn't have used oracles. You need oracles to chase down Shaco when he jumps in or whatever if you don't have it it's hard to know where he's going and if you have oracles on a mobile champion like kane or hecarim then yeah she can't get away from you you see exactly where he is when he goes and vis and dashes we have a wave bot side they'll probably go to i should probably group on this though damage the wave as i cross over your q is actually faster than walking on kane is the funny thing Get with a knockup. I'll attack Q reset with the gore drink. Auto. Ooh. I'll E into Q there. We get the double knockup. Gore drink. The real one's right there. And whoever just killed the fake Shaco clone just. I don't know. I don't know how I died there actually. I should have just stayed inside longer. I thought the fake Shaco clone blew up on me. I must have just gotten hit by an Ezreal ability drive that came out and they quit. What a game. That was a short one, so we'll go ahead and do a part two. I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two up against the Warwick this time. A little bit more of a challenging matchup. We can't solo Warwick pre-6 at all. He can attach through our Q and also shred us. Now, with that being said, he did take press the attack. So if we go into a fight with more HP than him, since we have Ignite, we will be able to win it. If he went lethal tempo, even with Ignite, I wouldn't want to fight him. Yes, Flash and even Ghost are viable on Kane, but having Ignite is really nice because even if you're inside of someone with your R, you can still ignite them. Plus, you don't have to go Kempunk Chainsword because they keep nerfing it. It's more expensive than it used to be. They've also kept nerfing Hill Cut to where ugh, I don't like building it. It feels so bad to build. Anyways, for the runes, same setup. Conquer, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand with free boots, Cosmic. Look for a cheeky little invade on his uh, Wolves. Wolves and Raps are your easiest start on Kane. Usually you want to go through the Baron Pits and whatnot. So the Swain's trolling me a little bit. That's the thing about Kane, right? Their Swain's are randomly keeping watch around like uh, 123, right? He's not even trying to get Pryo, get there early, cheese his opponent. So kind of interesting, all things considered. Warwick's turning that into a coin flip. 600 is the smite. Uh, we're fine. We're chilling. We're out of there. Swain's chasing. They're both wasting their time. I don't know why they're both doing that, honestly. It's, it's so troll that. So Warwick, instead of getting his leash bot side, he stops, goes all the way top. Like, what is going on, dude? Just let me take your stuff, bro. Stop being like that. This Warwick's a rude dude, I'll tell you that right now. And he's gonna die. Because I have Ignite and he doesn't. Oh! I called it. We have Ignite and he doesn't. It's that simple, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, that's why you take Ignite, baby. That's the secret sauce right there. It seemed to have healed normally. Let me see if it heals. So I don't know why he healed there. Maybe that was just on buffs, but for season 13, smite isn't supposed to heal you when you smite a monster with it. So I don't know what that was all about because it looked like he healed when he smited it. Now you do heal when you kill a camp, get a little bit of health back, but not for smiting it. Every camp gives you a little bit of health once you finish it. So this camp, for example, will give us a little bit of health back. He doesn't necessarily know where I am. He may be over here. 
Nope, he is not. Maybe I should just go for Scuttle. I'm missing a lot of health when you get our HP back up. We didn't start with Potion, neither did Warwick. It's pretty standard on... Uh, most meta junglers don't need to start with a Potion. It's a bit of a waste of gold unless you feel like you're going to need it to beat the enemy jungler. So, 50 gold is 50 gold. It's a significant amount. Auto attack W, auto attack Q. Q is on cooldown, so we ended up using it last there rather than first. Q is your main source of damage on Kane, especially on red Kane and normal Kane. Blue Kane, oftentimes it's your W because you can't go in and you're having to pecker them down, get them nice and weak. So you'll see on a lot of blue Kane players, they'll get like two or three points in their Q and then they start maxing their W first at that point. It's not that uncommon. Our red buff's still up. He might invade it. I don't assume he knows where we are, though. And since I already have a gold lead on him, yeah, so he's going bot side. That's smart. Typically, when you're behind, you don't want to start randomly invading the other jungler. It's a bad idea. So he's getting kited out super hard. Auto attack into Q. Auto attack W. We missed the W, unfortunately, but he's dead. Easy peasy. Cogmoth's popping off. He's got red buff. He's with boots. Oh, he's dead. Red buff, boots, Cogma absolute massacre i should have just reset there spend the gold that was greedy of me to stay like this i have a feeling this is going to be a very fast game with a fed cogma warwick can take raptors and krugs now efficiently so i just wasted my time he can take them semi efficiently because the jungle monster helps you clear does aoe true damage on its autos i don't feel like ganking that i'll go for black cleaver rush again i really like the way it uh it feels feels really really good i like the movement speed on it if you if you think about it when you're ganking you don't need to be able to heal yourself generally when you gank right but a lot of times you need more movement speed to stay on top of them black cleaver gives that plus shredding their armor you do more damage plus shredding their armor lets your teammates do more damage so i i really do like it I've been trying Gore Drink Rush or Black Cleaver Rush on Red Cane, and I'm checking the item in terms of damage dealt and numbers given. And the Black Cleaver is simply doing more, especially if they have bruisers or tanks. Now, if they're building zero armor, then sure. Black Cleaver is probably not quite as good as Gore Drink Rush, but most of the time, like a Warwick, a Jax, they'll probably get a Plated, a Death Dance, that type of thing. Hey, buddy. You want to give me some Essence? Thank you very much. I should stay for this wave. It'd be rude not to at this point. Ooh, got the cannon. Yeah, this is a lot of minions. Holy crap. This is so much XP. I have to finish shoving the wave so it'll reset. I don't know if I'll be able to, though. That was such a ridiculous amount of minions, though. Holy crap. The minions wouldn't aggro me there. I was trying to hold them against the wall. We're almost six. Jax hit six before us. How awesome is that? We have more kills, more assists. We have more CS, but that's just how top is, man. Top lane to mid lane hit level six around six minute mark. As a jungler, you're lucky if you hit it pre-seven minute mark. You had to soak a lot of minion XP to do so. Even with soaking that massive giga wave solo, we're still not level six. And we've been power farming this whole game. <laughs> TF has ignite. I'll ignite early. I'll attack into Q. Auto attack W. Into our Q again. Oh, I couldn't R. He hit me with his snare. We did get a lot of essence off of it to where you can argue that it's worth. Okay, now it's worth. One for one. Kind of needed it back anyways. Ideally, we would have been able to afford Black Cleaver, but at the very least, we're getting our free boots a little bit sooner. I didn't intend on dying there. It wasn't my goal. I was pretty confident we'd be able to live. His snare caught me in the back. Didn't see that coming. Because our R, we're going to dodge turret shot, swing back out. Maybe TF could tank a turret shot as we were exiting so we wouldn't have to tank. Are they on dragon? Taking dragon early is not great as a jungler if you're pre-6. It takes a while. Or a blue buff up. Guess we should take this then. Why the heck is Warwick over here? I don't think this is worded either. He's just like randomly over here. Hey, buddy. Got him with our knockup. We outsmited him. Just barely. I don't know even know if he had smite. These guys are in trouble. Q into them. Get the knockup on Samira. 
Uh, hey, Malka, you wanna die for me, buddy? Okay. <laughs> okay, dude. Oh my god, I just- I should have warded the brush. We could have R'd and healed off all of our health. We were snared so we couldn't even R there. Yikes. Big yikes. We'll grab a cleaver, head back out onto the map. Sucks, dude. Died twice for no reason. I don't mind the first death too much. That death's sad though, dying to Maokai. It's an ugly way to die. Jax is not easy to fight for Udyr. Jax can block auto attacks and Udyr is primarily auto based. We have full black cleaver. We're going to be extremely fast with free boots. Free boots plus carve is a recipe for domination. Guys, we still got those minions too. He's lined up on the wall. Q into him. Oh, yuck. He's actually getting away from me because I didn't R. He did burn flash to be fair. I was trying to save R for when we can no longer reach him with autos. He got off his pretty solid flash. I don't know if Warwick rage quit. He might have actually rage quit after he died on dragon there. Oh no, he's still playing. Never mind. We have Conqueror stacked on him. And we have uh, our Black Cleaver stacked as well. I might just die here though still. Yeah, I'm just dead. Even if I ignited him, we weren't gonna be able to kill him. Not with that rotation, it's whatever. Against their team, Malachi's magic damage, Warwick's 70% magic damage, Swain's magic damage, Jax has a little bit as well. Like, even in that fight you saw, we took half MR, half magic damage. Could go for Merc Treads here. Malachi Snare, Malachi Slow. Another, so two Maokai snares, Maokai slow, Swain snare, Swain slow, Warwick fear, Jack stun. With all of those CCs, we interact with tenacity. We have tenacity on our jungle item once it's complete. Now, this is annoying. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to this guy. Pop with the W, got him with ignite. He doesn't have ignite. I don't think he could actually kill me here. Auto attack Q. We're healing so much off of just hitting him since we're red cane. Auto attack Q. He tries to go on the Kogma. We miss our knock up on him, but we have our comp full stacked, so. Auto attack Q. We got Warwick Flash. Got the knock up. Oh, we got the heal just barely. Oh my god, I'm gonna die if he has R. Oh my god, that was so close, dude. <laughs> Even with the carve speed up. Yeah, you don't heal when you smite buffs. You actually just don't. You don't heal when you smite anything. You have to finish the camp and you get a tiny little baby heal. Like, what is that? Like 50 health? Auto attack, key reset. I would auto then W first, but W takes so long to come out, he'd still hit us with his auto. We wouldn't be able to cancel it. Unfortunate. Finally have above half health. Warwick's mid for whatever reason. Slowly but surely we will heal. The Omni Vamp is only against champions. Man, if it was against monsters, that would be sweet. This is taking a while to heal. Yeah, that is one upside to Gordrink. Gordrink has some, some true Omni Vamp in it. Unlike our passive situational Omni Vamp. Dragon coming up. We'll play for Drag Soul. Easy win con. Auto attack W. We definitely outscale them. We can still hit Jax with really all of our damage, even when he's in his spin to win mode. Swain's getting really fed. Don't know if we can actually kill him. He's full health. He's at 2,400 HP. That's a lot of HP. Auto attack Q. Yeah, I think he thinks he can solo me and he might actually be able to is the sad thing. Auto attack Q. He almost soloed me, dude. He has less. He doesn't have a full item. 
And, uh, I mean, he does have Conqueror, to be fair, but still. He had a lot more HP. He had 2,400 health in that time. I only had, like, 1,600, so. He had, like, 50% more HP there. You Q into him. Smite. Pop him with the knockup. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, wow. Okay, Velkos pop off. I wasn't expecting that. I barely lived. It was barely. Knock up. Down you go, buddy. Rest in pepperonis. I should be healing off a red buff here in a moment since we're not in combat with enemy champions. It's usually a five second on any kind of out of combat thing. There it is. Finally kicked in. Maybe the minions prolong it. Maybe minions stop it. Huh. They probably should, so if Elena gets red buff, they can't just perma sustain. Alright, finally buff half health. I'm gonna stay for Scuttle. Then I'll stay for popping this. Make sure that's not up. I don't want to fight Swain right there. Ooh, every time Swain hits you with his eye or with his pull, it gives him permanent HP. So you don't want to let him... Just mash you for free even if you're gonna take a favorable trade and then pull off a lot of times it's not worth it you're just stacking them up like, that's exactly what he's trying to do right now don't know why swain's solo pushing me off a dragon but he is Let's see if we can do something here warwick's getting a lot of movement speed we'll queue into her down she goes I missed the opportunity to knock him out of his R, hit him with the smite, down he goes. Now we can take dragon for free because we actually want to fight. Cool. Swain's bot side-ish and I'm sitting on a stupid amount of gold. We're sitting on enough gold to just straight up buy gore drink, essentially. Hit with the Q, auto attack W, he lined himself up against the wall, auto attack Q. It's not easy for Swain to pin down a cane. Kane with all your dashes, for him to actually land a skill shot on you is challenging. That's his main source of damage is hitting his claw and pulling you into his eye. If he doesn't land that, he's missing out on 50% of his damage output. He went for the Jaco item. Jack Show, I haven't seen many people build that item in general. I think we win this fight. Oh, I'm on a ward, shit. Yeah, they can see me right now. Oh, man. Do they get dragon here? Warwick seems hesitant to actually take it. I can Q900 in. There it is. Got him with Ignite. Get him with a double Q here. I don't think he has flash. Yeah, he's just hovering wall to maybe beta flash. Sick. We're getting all assists. <laughs> The assist king. There's the eye. Don't let that hit you. Like I said, I don't really want to deal with this guy. Oof. What is this? He's chasing me. What the hell? Dude, I just want to take Warwick's camps, my guy. Let me take Warwick's camps. Why is the... What's going on here? <laughs> let me take his camps. That's all I want. You need to get above half health so Warwick can't... Uh, sprint the map and now it's time to get gore drink can't afford tier two boots though maybe i should stay we're so close to everything we need you can delay tier twos for a really long time with free boots on king because free boots are faster than normal boots by 10 so plus you have your e to get around on the map that doesn't look good pop them with the e Knock him up off the knockup. Oh my god. This is not a good situation. Ooh, get the knockup. Oh, this Velkos is doing some fat damage, bro. Velkos is probably doing more damage than I am. He's landing everything. We are setting it up, though, to be fair. We're, we're taking up a ridiculous amount of aggro. And that's the thing about Kane. He can soak crazy aggro high mobility high disengage with his r auto attack q into the wall i'm getting carve off of him i have full stack conquer as well 
he's missing a lot of armor and i'm getting a lot of movement speed right now i'm moving 393 now that our carve is off we're only moving 375 so 18 mobility right there I don't know how I feel about this. Maokai ended up on the wrong side of the wall. He's about to get... Well, actually, he's about to kill me. And I have to sneeze really badly, too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, we lived. My team, my team OP. <laughs> I think we landed a four... A four-man W there. We healed like crazy. 26% of the damage dealt. Now we can get Gore Drink. Sitting on so much freaking gold. Ah, uh, and Mercs for sure. Third item, Spear of Shoujin. Definitely. Played a lot of Spear of Shoujin on Hecarim and Kane. On either one of them, it's a recommended item. Now, granted, I played Spear of Shoujin on Hecarim probably close to a week ago. So, maybe they have it as a recommended item on him now, but... When I played it, they didn't. And on Kane, they still don't, which is stupid because it gives them every stat they need. 80 HP and ability haste on a whole lot of it. Plus movement speed. Works beautifully for both of them. Spear so Shoujin, it's, it is kind of expensive though at 3,400 to where even though it's your one of your better items on Kane and Hecarim, you wouldn't want to get it too early since it's so expensive. Very, very expensive. That's why you normally look to get it third, fourth, or fifth. It, it also scales off of your AD is why. If you rush at first item, if you like rushing Robidon first item on a mage, it just wouldn't make a lot of sense. But now that we already have some attack damage items, and maybe you had some uh, infernal dragons, some flame dragons with extra AD, she can't fight us at all. I could kill her and her... Like swing at the same time. We get her flash. I did burn ignite for that. I don't want to let that eye hit me. Give me conquer, baby. I need to get this guy off my teammate. Down he goes. We'll Q smite into her. I have to leave. I can't tank this turret. Belkaz is dead. <laughs> he walked tight on wall. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, well. Happens, happens, happens. Happens to the best of us. Yeah, some of these turrets around the walls, like this one. A lot of these tier 2 turrets. Not the outer, but the second outer. They have a lot of range to where they'll hit you to where you don't think it would. Like around these walls. Happens to me a lot around the second middle one. When you're right here, it'll be nicking you super hard. Even though it shouldn't have line of sight, it'll still keep wrecking you. We get that juicy jungle item shield since we've farmed enough camps at this point. And we have the extra 20% tenacity. So we have 67% tenacity, baby. Look at that. 67. They hit me with a one second stun. It should only last for, what? what is that? 0.33 seconds. That's really, really good. At least that's how I think that works. 0.33. Very strong. Time to use Gore Drink. I need to go inside of him with R to heal. We go through with the Q. Blue Smite him into W. Or I should just say Smite. There's no such thing as Blue Smite anymore. They all do a little bit of true damage and slow. The Smite itself are all the same now. Udyr is inting. What? Is he on a pentakill or something? What the hell was that? It made no sense. Kind of forgot I even had an Udyr on my team. I think Jax is rage quit now. Jax is weak versus Red Kane. Very, very weak. We can hit him with every single one of our abilities, including our Gore Drink, and he can't block it. I want the Samira. Get her with the knockup, Q Gore Drink. Got her with the smite as well. 
and that is a GG's well played. Looking at damage dealt to enemy champions, we had the most in the game. Looking at damage taken, we had taken the most on our team, almost the most in the game. We were pretty much tied up with the Warwick, Swain, and Maokai. Looking at self mitigated, we were top three most, actually top two most self mitigated in the game. Not bad. And for runes, really high value. It's hard to beat this page for the late game. Your strongest early game page on Kane wouldn't use magical footwear because you basically can't use it for the first eight minutes of the game. So magical footwear cosmic is more for mid late game than it is for early. If you guys enjoyed this Kane video for preseason 13, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to hack the algorithm. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.